Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or you know what, whatever you're doing out there, we're going to try to add to it, okay? In fact, I think we're going to probably do a pretty fair job of adding to it according to you know a lot of the community members that have uh, added games over time it's a fair warning folks and if you like roguelikes and roguelites I am so glad that you're here with us because well that's all we play on the channel every time so we're going to have some fun today looking at a newer game. This is a game called Rice, and Rice is an abbreviation for Repetitive Indie Combat Experience, or in other words, Bullet Heaven. And you know that I love those games. I want to talk a little bit about random acts of kindness. You know, one of our community members, Haystack, recently won one of our giveaways. And because I do a lot of giveaways on Steam, you know, in order to do the giveaway, Steam has a rule where you need to be connected to the person that you're giving a gift to. And so, you know, some of you have uh, friended up with me out on Steam so that we can continue doing these giveaways. Let's see, wow. Plus 800 max HP heal to full 8 to 24 lucky damage minus 100% accuracy. Plus four pierces. Wow, that could be very good if we end up getting something else here. Uh, we're going to go with the penetrate, actually. And if we can find the spark capability, that penetrate is going to be fantastic. Anyway, let's get back to the story here. You're going to want to stay tuned in because this happens to be one of those uh, uh, one of those G-rated videos, but we'll get to that in a moment. So, Haystack received a copy of a game from a uh, giveaway a couple weeks ago and then turned around and gifted me a copy of Rice, this excellent bullet heaven that I am already finding myself to be hopelessly addicted to. And that was so extremely kind of you to do that, Haystack. I really appreciate that. There was never any expectation at all. And uh, I was just so taken aback by your kindness and it really made me think about how much I appreciate all of you in this community uh, that we've built we've just done a phenomenal job of, of putting an awesome group of people together gamers that enjoy gaming it just so happens to be the subset of roguelikes and roguelites and so I want to thank you again Haystack uh, you have provided me with a, a new obsession that I, I think I think I'm probably gonna pour several hours into. This game is phenomenal. And so that leads me to the next part that's very exciting. This video that you are watching right now, this one, is rated G for giveaway. Alright? How about that? Good stuff. So be subscribed and 
leave a comment. It can be any kind of comment. What kind of coffee are you drinking? What kind of snacks are you enjoying out there recently? We're going to have some snack talk today, by the way. Not smack talk, snack talk. We're going to get into it. Let us know what you got going on out there. And we're going to pick two of you to win a copy of Rice. And you can enjoy this along with us. I will pick two of you on May 10th. So that gives you plenty of time. Plenty of time to get involved here. Always fun doing giveaways. Why don't we uh, do some level ups too? That's fun as well. Let's see. Plus 50% crit damage. That sounds good. Uh, some of these are funny. A card that's obviously too strong, but the dev ignores it and or buffs it. I, I don't know what this does yet. Um, cannot lose more than 50% of current HP while above 50% max HP. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, let's go with this lucky damage. And uh, let's see. Blocks one hit every minute. While block is up, collect double meta currency and gain plus one over time. Unblocked hits remove all bonus currency. Uh, you know, let's go with that. And, oh, I really like the bouncing. Uh, let's see. Plus 100% crit damage. That sounds pretty great, actually. We need to find the sparks. Oh, let's go with the plus four bounces. And, uh, let's do some crit damage again. Boy, we had a lot of level ups. Oh, here's the sparks. Perfect. That's going to go hand in hand with the piercing that we picked up in the beginning. Uh, we'll go with some regen. And uh, how about plus two projectile HP? I'm not sure what that means, but we could get some piercing again. All right. So for each pierce, we're going to have some sparks firing off out there. And that's going to set a lot of enemies on fire. We should probably talk a little bit about this game itself. Uh, it's your standard bullet heaven, but we're trying to clear up this muck by firing the enemy at it, uh, by different AoE effects. And then when we get into these, well, they look like planets, really. When we get into those, uh, it's almost like a treasure chest in other Bullet Heaven games. So let's grab this. Now, unfortunately, we have run out of slots for new weapons, and I don't want to replace, and so I'm just going to grab some meta progression coins with this one. And yes, great news. There is meta progression, and it is quite deep. There is even a Tetris component to the meta progression system that is, uh, it's really neat. There's a lot to enjoy about this game. A lot to appreciate. And other than that, I haven't gotten far enough to, to tell you additional pieces of information about the game. It's pretty tough as well, uh, including when you start out. I would say it's very difficult, but I've gotten some of the progression at this point. I'm not starting out from zero every time, and that's been quite helpful. I will say that the game does feature auto-fire, and if you want all of your weapons to auto-aim as well, you can configure it that way. Uh, I like to control where my uh, shots are, are aiming at. So that's the only one that I've set up for a uh, more manual configuration. Well, we got to grab some life back. I don't know that our health regen is as strong as it could possibly be. Probably isn't.
So I told you we were going to talk a little bit about uh, snacks. You know, I'm, I'm always looking at the new snacks that are available out there. And my buddy had come by uh, a week ago or so so that we could play some Magic the Gathering. Uh, we like to get together to play Commander. And... You know, he knows that uh, during the week, at least, I, I try to eat a little bit better, and so he uh, he brought these new chips called Popcorners. Have any of you seen these? They're called Popcorners, and they look like tortilla chips. And they're kind of a rice cakey consistency you know it, it's it's literally popcorn it's uh you know rice cake but shaped in a chip and i'm gonna tell you what these things are just super super addictive and they're not terrible for you that's the other thing so he brought over the spicy queso version and those were quite awesome. Let's level up, shall we? Let's do plus one spark damage. Uh, and then I think we need to start thinking about regeneration quite a bit here. This could help too. Let's do that. Um, yeah, let's do regen again. Have attack speed. Enemies take double damage from projectiles. Ooh, plus one weapon slot. Let's do that. And then let's go additional... Yeah, let's, let's put this in health. Regenerate 40 HP every 10 seconds while under 50%. I mean, it's not going to help in the time right now, but chances are we're going to fall. And so that will help. Let's go with the piercing boy we had a lot of level ups see I get to talk in and uh, this is what happens and we'll go with some pickup range as well all right apparently we just grabbed another one we'll do regeneration again all right so you see those samurai looking guys if they get up close to you they do massive damage and that's what happened right there that's why the screen kind of changed color for a moment So my buddy got me hooked on these things. And I went to the store to see if I could find them myself. And, uh, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I did. And uh, I came back with four bags of popcorners. Picked up a couple of the queso, of course, because those were incredible. All right, we've got to get one of these planets going here as we've got the weapon slot again let's see if we can grab that we'll level up uh let's go with hmm this actually looks good too we could just keep building on the regeneration let's do that uh let's go with plus two damage perfect and then let's see if we can just slide on in here oh man they really don't want us to get that they're doing a good job stopping us from getting over there. Almost too good of a job, I'd say. All right, we're going to have to go around, and then we'll come on back up. Unless we find a, another power-up just sitting out there. Sometimes that happens as well. Come on. All right, we'll grab this level up in a moment. Come on. We can do it. There it is. Outstanding. Okay. What do we want to do here? I mean, we could grab another fireball. Uh, the cooldown is six seconds on that one. That's 0.4. This is three seconds. So we could go with something that just fires off quickly. Why don't we do that? Get some level ups as well. 
Uh, how about some additional knockback? Always a good one. So I got the queso because that flavor was awesome. It's got really good back of the throat heat to it. And then I also picked up the cinnamon. And I gotta tell you, it's not too sweet. It's just right. It's just right what they've done with these cinnamon ones. Uh, reminds me very much so of the cinnamon crisps at Taco Bell. Which, see, now we're on the subject of Taco Bell, a, a place that I aged out of many years ago, unfortunately. Here, an upgrade that's useless until you get a specific other card. Huh. Don't know about that. We could just go with uh, additional constitution. That, that'll probably be helpful in the long run. Don't want that samurai jerk to get too close to us, though. All right, let's see if we can open up another one of these planetary bonuses here. These would be two good ones to start working through. Oh, doggone it. Oh, they're just piling on. This is how it ends. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Life's taken a lot. All right, we're going to go main menu. We're going to show off the meta progression area because, boy, howdy, it is, it is deep. So we have squares that we can open up, and then we have bonuses that we can buy, these different cards that can be activated. Some are quite expensive, you know, as you move your way down the gold, they've got even better ones down here, but then they, of course, you know, look at the cost there, 100,000. Currently, I have 554 meta, so you can kind of see what I mean. You got to start at the bronze. Um, they also have this gold line that runs down the middle, and some of these, like this one, you get a additional buff to your metal if you put it down the gold line. But now you'll see that some of these have different uh, sectional requirements. And so I've got to place this one there because it needs the additional spaces to be put in. Very interesting. So uh, let's see. I want to grab the one that gives us some additional pickup range. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, let's... We're not going to be able to do it this time, but let's open up this space. And then I think next time I would grab this and pop that in there. I love the Magnesis range in these types of games. Should we do another run? I like how you switch weapons and then this just says no. You, you cannot start. You don't have the dagger unlocked. That's that's going to be 500. Now you can start. See? It's good stuff. Little bits of humor throughout this game. All right, now these little things usually have a nice little goodie in them. Beautiful. Heal plus one HP per life taken. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're going to do that. I think that will come in handy. I've found that if you can, it's really important to try and get a additional weapon quickly. Because the horde grows in volume pretty fast and once you start to get surrounded it's hard to focus on these planet bonuses and getting rid of the muck unless of course you can you know get some piercing real quick and position the enemies in a way where you know they're in front of what you're shooting at and the muck also grows back over time All right, okay, there we go. Muck elimination. I actually like the sword, so let's double down on that. 
like the speed at which it fires off. It's going to help big time with getting us into here real quick. I think we're going to be sitting pretty good for this run. Okay, I also really liked the boomerang. Returns to center, plus one pierce, times two integrity. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? We were already partially through that other group of muck, but I mean, this is going quite well. This is a really good uh, starting point. Now we are in a different biome this time. And when you step on the water, it, it does slow you down quite a bit. I think we're going to go with another boomerang here. Two swords, two boomerangs. What could go wrong? Now I know I'm not going to forget about the level ups. I just want to get this first so we can grab some meta progression. Actually, before we do that, let's see if we luck out. Maybe we can get another weapon slot right off the bat. Probably not, though. Uh, let's see. Let's go pick up range, shall we? We'll do some regen. Uh, we will do more regen. And uh, let's go with plus 50% crit. And let's go with some lucky damage. There we go. Boy, howdy. Okay. Now, you see here, this is going to be replaced. We don't want to replace it. So I'm just going to go with the meta progression at this point. And hopefully, we'll open up some additional weapon slots. Some piercing would be uh, good. Some sparking would be good. Or maybe uh, we try and do a chill build. You know, there is a cold element as well that can be applied here. Oh, but you know what? Ignite just showed up. So let's do that. And let's add some knockback. Uh, let's see. Plus one projectile HP. I don't know what that means. Oh, makes projectiles last longer. I see. Okay. All right. So we've got a little bit more of a description off to the left there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. Damage over time action already helping out in a big way. It's great. I will grab a level up here. Uh, we, I guess we could apply cold as well. I'm not really sure. Slows enemies by 20%. Huh. Yeah, all right. I guess is maybe we're applying cold and hot. I'm I'm not really sure. But that's my guess. Which is great for some of these guys because they are quite fast. All right, let's get our level up here. Enemies you've slowed take up to four plus frost ice damage depending on how slowed they are. Or we could add to projectile size, plus 10%. That's huge. Let's do that. Now you gotta be careful that you don't get too close to the muck because it will damage you quite a bit. Okay, regenerate 20 HP every 10 seconds. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Why don't we go size again? Just have really beefy projectiles. Sounds okay. Wonderful. I'm liking this build so far that we've got going here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, they have 
applied a chill effect and that really damaged us. Doesn't help being stuck in the water. Oh boy. All right. Well, that one was quick. Hey folks, this is a game called Rice, which is short for Repetitive Indie Combat Experience. And I wanna say one final thank you to our community member Haystack for gifting me this new found obsession. I have put, gosh, I don't know, at least two hours into the game. I'm having a blast with it. And uh, so we're gonna pay it forward and uh, return some kindness to uh, the community. We'll just bounce it off of me and right back on to you. And we'll give away two copies of the game this week. So be subscribed, leave a comment, and that's going to make you eligible for the giveaway. How about that? And then we'll pick two of you on May 10th to be selected. Good stuff, right? Hey, thanks to all of you, we're able to do this because, uh, you know, the channel produces revenue and then we dump it right back into the channel and we do giveaways each week. So, really, really good stuff. Appreciate you all allowing me to do this and uh, be kind of the talking head for, for the community. So, um, love doing it every day. Hey, let's do this again, Should shall we? We'll, uh, we'll see you out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every single time. And uh, you know what else? We'll give away a video game at least once a week too. All right. You take care out there. Be well. And we'll see you next time sometime soon. Goodbye. <laughs>